Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about aggregate demand and the interest rate effect. In this video we're going to look at the relationship between the money market including money demand and money supply and how that relates into the aggregate demand curve and in particular when we explained the aggregate demand curve in a previous video we referred to something called the interest rate effect and the interest rate effect meant that when prices increased in the economy the aggregate demand decreased now how do we show this well the first thing we're going to have to say is that the aggregate demand curve is a downward sloping line. So aggregate demand is negatively sloped and what this means is as prices go up GDP or aggregate demand falls and vice versa. So if we were to take a situation where we had a price level in the economy which was at 3 here and we have over in the money market an interest rate of 5%. So that's the state of affairs in the economy. There is 100 billion of quantity of money demanded and in this economy here there is let's say 200 billion of output. Okay, so what we see in this case here is if we take the example of a price increase so if there's an increase in the price in the economy, let's say up to five over here, that increase causes two things. What it causes initially is when the price level goes up, what happens is price level goes up, the money demand in the economy tends to rise as well. So when prices go up, money demand goes up as well. When money demand increases, what we say is that the money demand curve shifts rightwards. So we can show this on our money market diagram over here on the left hand side with money demand shifting to the right. The impact this has on the economy is that for everything else the same, when money demand increases and money supply is assumed to stay constant, well, the interest rate in the economy should rise, let's say up to 7% here. So when money demand increases, the interest rate in the economy rises. And in this case here, when the interest rate rises, what it tends to do is it tends to reduce the purchases of people, households and firms in the economy. So aggregate demand tends to decrease. So how we can show this over on the right hand side is we can say after price increased, that caused demand, money demand to shift right, that caused the interest rate to increase, and we can show that on our aggregate demand curve, we can say that we go from point A to point B, and with less spending in the economy from households and firms, we have a aggregate demand curve that is negatively sloped. So what's happening here is the price level is going up and the aggregate demand in the economy is falling. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.